Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing on this channel which is mainly about wand building. However, it's not going to be based on like high damaging wands or you know kind of useful ones but more we're going to be focusing on artistic builds, things that kind of look pretty because Noita is a very beautiful game, not just the physics simulation and the reactions but also the wand building can be very beautiful sometimes right so i have three wands here you can ignore the bottom two for now we're going to mainly be talking about this spell over here freezing gaze and this is one of my most favorite spells in the entire game right it, it's very simple it just shoots a few projectiles that freeze the enemy now the reason why i like it so much is because it shoots multiple projectiles at once right so if you think about triplicate bolt, triplicate bolt also shoots three shots at once, but it's one singular spell. Um, and freezing gaze does the same thing. Now it, it has some very good synergies. For example, with the projectile energy shield, if I shoot it out, you can see I have like a nice shield. In fact, I'm mainly going to be using decelerating shot in this video. And if I show you sometimes it bugs out but there you can see it's almost like a shield right um another thing that freezing gaze works well with is this contact damage right if you can somehow make it last very long like with an increased lifetime um you can kind of make like a shield of contact damage and it's actually very deadly right then one of the other spells i like is this plasma beam bounce right now it's kind of a deadly spell but with the freezing gaze because it shoots so many projectiles it's actually even more deadly so i'm going to show you quickly as you can see it's like a wall of plasma because it fires so many projectiles um you get a lot of plasma beam it's actually very deadly like i have a thousand hp but it can clearly like very quickly clear all of that out but those modifiers are very fun, but it's not really going to be what we're going to be focusing on. We're mainly going to be looking at this one here, Electric Arc. Now, Electric Arc, if you read the description, creates an arc of lightning between projectiles and requires at least two projectile spells. So I bring two of these bubble sparks and fire it out. You can see nothing is happening, right? The reason is because it needs to actually be connected to a multicast. So if I take this bifurcated formation, you'll see the electric arcs coming out. Now that electricity is actually very dangerous. You need electricity immunity and explosion immunity because it will it will take away thousands of HP within seconds. Right? So the main thing of this electric arc is that you need the projectile to be multicast and you need at least two of those projectiles. Right? So I have formation behind your back and because bubble spark lasts so long you can have these long chains of lightning right now i'm gonna chuck this away for now if i show you triplicate bolt right i don't have a multicast but triplicate bolt by itself fires three projectiles and it multicasts them all at once so you can see the arc of lightning there right this also applies to freezing gaze so now let's just move this a bit here freezing gaze if i shoot it out you can see the electricity arc between all of the projectiles right? and we're going to combine this concept with matter eater and maybe drilling shot because another, one of the other reasons why i like freezing gaze so much because it's very good at clearing out terrain if i stand and fire here you can see how easily it just cleans up all the terrain, right? Now, Matter Eater is a limited spell, and so is Freezing Gaze, but I have unlimited spells. But Matter Eater, you need to use some, like, kind of the Greek spells to make it fully, like, usable, right? So, I'm going to chuck this wand. I don't think I need anything on here. Let's take a look at this other one over here, right? Now it looks a bit crazy at first, but we're gonna go like through it layer by layer, right? I'm gonna remove those two and move the glimmers because those are just for fun. 
and let's just stick to one freezing gaze okay. and let's get rid of these multicasts as well so now these three spells basically work with drilling shot and electric arc very well and I'll show you why if I fire this out oh, wrong wand <laughs> if I fire this out you can see the electric arc the reason why we need drilling shot is because when a projectile hits the ground you don't want it to just completely die out you see and then you get that big explosion now it's not really lasting very long so if you put something like increase lifetime that will do that now let's first go on to show you the decelerating shot right this combo on its own you can ignore the matter eater it's being blocked off for now this combo alone is very powerful right um, basically like a shield of electricity and I like to combo it with the increase lifetime right so these five spells ignoring the matter eater and the wand refresh is a very good combo right and you can see it I call it a Tesla coil because it looks very similar to um, how Tesla coils look right so this is the main concept and we're gonna be building along this concept for the rest of the video okay? so now we have the increased lifetime and the decelerating shot if I add the in light shot which increases a lot of speed you can see it goes into the wall right now if I remove the decelerating shot now you can mix and match this as much as you want generally the drilling shot and the electric arc you always gonna have and you're gonna any combination of these three spells um, will make it interesting so I'm going to remove decelerating shot and now it's not going to go slow right so you see it's traveling through the wall very quickly right um, it can even like dig not dig but it's like moving through the brickwork going outside right so that is why the light shot is very useful um, if I remove the light shot then it doesn't slow down but it doesn't also move so crazy and out of control right so you think around and mix and match right the glimmers I like to keep just for fun but you don't need them obviously um, the blue one makes it kind of like invisible and I really like the yellow right the yellow one is kind of very good let's just remove light shot so the yellow one for me is my favorite right now we're going over the modifiers I want you to bring your attention to these three um, multicasts right so obviously we can cast one and one of it one of them looks pretty but if we cast three obviously we're gonna get three times more deadly I'm also adding the decelerating shot so it can be more sustained right this is also very deadly by the way if an enemy walks through there most likely they're going to take freezing damage because of the freezing gaze and electrical damage because of the arc right? so three of them looks pretty good but if I take this formation above and below so cast three spells head above and below the caster and these are the three spells with all of these modifiers it goes in a very nice arc semicircle kind of thing right very beautiful um, almost like it's protecting you right so I like using the formation above and below and obviously if it goes there it's gonna start making explosions within the wall and then we can add the light shot if we wanted to and it will look something like this it goes very fast and it destroys a lot of the terrain mainly because there's now three times the projectile so you just need to watch with lag um, this modifier can lag the game a lot right so let's remove the light shot and add matter eater right so this gamma is copying the last spell which is matter eater and I'm kind of blocking it off with a wand refresh now you don't need to use wand refresh I just like to keep it clean so we have matter eater on this wand now right so that will look something like this if it's not digging terrain so let's move to some terrain And you can see there it's digging the terrain very nicely now because it's digging the terrain it's not really um, making those explosions right 
and that's mainly because it's just eating it up but if we add if you either remove the decelerating or add light shot it will be fast enough where it can still deal explosives to the terrain and the thing i like about this it leaves this like spiky look that for me just looks really pretty right if you don't have light shot and no decelerating shot but you have the increased lifetime with the matter eater it it just looks so pretty right and uh, like I said, you can mix and match and try and find combos that you like. I'm going to put the decelerating, because I really like it with the decelerating, and with the matter eater. Now, that was firing out three of them. If we fired out five of them, we need the formation pentagon, which casts five spells in a pentagonal pattern. And I'm just going to add long distance cast so that it's firing away from the player. And you can see it, it leaves this very beautiful like ring of electricity. Now remember we have matter eater on this so it can and will eat up the terrain very nicely. And now if we had to remove the matter eater it will be just like before but now it's going to actually like cause explosions if it hits the terrain. And like I said, just watch out with um, the lag. Electric arc can cause a lot of lag. Right? So what we have now is basically this Tesla field that if it hits the terrain or any enemy or any liquid, it's going to cause a lot of explosions wherever it hits the terrain. Right? And obviously I can add light shot if I wanted to. You cannot remove the drilling shot because that's going to kind of defeat the purpose. Right? It's just going to not really do much. So you need the, the drilling shot and the electric arc. But you can mix and match light shot, decelerating, increased lifetime, and the matter eater. Right? So if I remove adding the light shot makes it go much faster. Right? Uh, if I remove the lifetime, now I have it doesn't last that long, but it also it's like a quick burst. Right? I tend to take off the light shot because I don't want it going out of hand. And we'll just add the yellow because I like the color. Right? So this is the basics of this one. It's not really very powerful. Well, it can be, but um, it's mainly just for looks and for show and to look nice, which I'm going to try and do more videos on this in the future. Right? You can see how beautiful that looks. But if I add the increased lifetime with the decelerating, it looks much better. And it still does like a ton of electric damage if it has to touch the terrain. I'm going to add this here just to make it a little bit better. And you can see how it's... you. This damage numbers are kind of inaccurate, so don't take a look at that. Right? It also digs the terrain a lot. Right? So now I'm just going to go into the biome and mix and match and test out and show you some of the interactions with the enemies and also the biome because once you add matter eater this combination is very good at like destroying the terrain right so you can just sit back and watch and then after that showcase i'll show you something extra that we can do with it
I remove the drilling, the decelerating shot, you can see it goes through the terrain much more easier. And kind of like just pierces through all the terrain. Which for me, like if you go into a terrain, an area with a lot of soft material. So I'm going to use GGI. Let's go to Snowy Depths. You'll see that it's very effective against the soft powdery materials. I'm just going to keep it a bit more controlled because I want to go to the lava lake to show you another useful feature and also why I really like um, freezing gaze when it comes to digging. So let me just get to the lava lake. As you can see with the long distance cast, it's very useful and very good at digging up the lava but also making it safe for me to traverse because the freezing gaze, remember, it's freezing the lava into the rock. And then it's also digging away the rock because of the matter eater. So this is a very useful way. I mean, you don't need all the fancy electric arc, but if I have to remove the electric arc, it'll be a very good way of cleanly digging through lava. So that's it for this video. I hope you maybe learned something new or saw something interesting. Um, I'm gonna plan to cover more of these kind of artistic bowls. Maybe they're not very useful or damaging like in terms of killing 33 of Komi or something but they do look very cool. That's something you have to admit. If I remove that... <laughs> it does get crazy and you should watch out for the lag again, especially because electric arc tends to do a lot of damage and explosions in a short period of time. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or wand bowls that are very artistic, um, leave them down in the comments and maybe I can showcase them in a future video. I'll see you in the next video. Right. So, as you can see, this combination very useful. Well, not very useful, but very good, pretty looking. And obviously, you can add on this. You can like add glimmers or add uh, more lifetime. What I have done on this one over here is basically like a pollen pollen spell generator right um you can look on the noita wiki which covers like creating spells with like generating spells with pollen basically everything on this side of the wand is a pollen generator for this setup with the freezing gaze electric arc right so if i cast it it's basically a pollen powered spell generator casting a lot of the freezing gaze electric arc um, stuff okay. which you can obviously add on and tweak it customize it 